Within the municipal lines of Chansford Township, York County, is a small community where one man has turned the search for a pandemic hobby into a unique passion. Fox 43 photojournalist Nick Waldner introduces us to the Birdman of Brogue. It all started with the pandemic, actually. And it just kind of grew into a, a hobby. I am retired. My wife and I always traveled everywhere. But since the pandemic, we can't go anywhere. And I'm kind of confined because I have health issues. So it just start, started out to be a simple one birdhouse. And now it's turned into hundreds and hundreds of birdhouses. I've always had a, a, a love for working with wood. I had a home improvement company for a while, early on back in the 80s. This birdhouse here is a 1910 Model T wheel. This will house, uh, I think, 18 Purple Martins, little wine containers. It's two dresser drawers put back to back. It's got an old pitchfork, another garden tool, horseshoe. That's an old Avon bottle up top. All that stuff came from yard sale, some old Fiesta wear. In the front, it's all sea glass that my wife and I got from the beaches of the Dominican Republic. So it's just uh, kind of an eclectic collection of items that I use to build them. A friend of mine had a fence company, so I would use his scraps that he would normally throw away you know, to make a lot of the birdhouses and I get a lot of little things at yard sales that I incorporate into the birdhouses. So there's really no two that are, that are alike. So the hole that you select is, is pretty important for the type of bird you want to, to attract. This one here, we're gonna use a one and a quarter inch. It's probably the most common for your smaller birds that you would feed. And there's your hole. I save everything. So all the holes that I cut out from my other feeders, I save and I'll, I'll incorporate that in a future feeder. It's really been hard for me because I get real short of breath and I can't really do the things that I used to do. So I had to find a hobby that doesn't get my heart rate up. And building birdhouses is, is just the perfect thing. These are meant to last, be, even be passed on. And they're, uh, they're unique in that everyone's different. You know, it's not like I'm cranking out a hundred or a thousand of the same exact thing. When I see the reaction to people when they come, that just kind of motivates me to keep going because they, they really appreciate, people who love their birds really appreciate quality birdhouse structures and feeders. I'm just the kind of person that can't sit still. I can't watch TV all day long. So this just is a perfect outlet for me to express my God-given creativity. And if you're interested in more information about Greg's birdhouses, we have it on our website, fox43.com. Raiden, some amazing work.